in the trucks after a crucial day in his Dakar career yesterday, where Federico Villagra took the lead of this rally in his home country of Argentina, he was stung with a 15-minute penalty for a technical infringement to do with the cabin stabilization system of his Iveco Powerstar, which cut his lead over Nikolaev to only 1 minute 7 seconds. His mission today is to rebuild the lead, tiny margins, for these massive vehicles. Now that's a Kamaz to the rescue. Edward Nikolaev has stopped in the stage. He is joined by both other Kamaz trucks still in the race, Sotnikov and Mardiev to the rescue. The combined mechanical expertise of all three crews is required, plus a satellite call back to base. A full compressor change is carried out, transplanted from Sotnikov's truck to Nikolaev's, so that the team leader can continue to fight for the victory. Time flows by. Meanwhile, excellent pace from the Argentine. Can he capitalize on Nikolaev's lengthy gaucho siesta? No, that's Viagra stopped. They're making repairs. How much time will he lose now? The compressor transplant has clearly worked. That Kamaz truck is back on the attack. Meanwhile, no such troubles for Viagra's teammate, Ton von Genuchten. He's battling for the stage win. In the absence of Gerard de Roy, the Dutch hopes of the team rests on his shoulders. Now, the battle for the stage win is with Martin Colomy, the Tatra crew hammering through the longest stage of the rally, swapping sector times with von Genuchten. The Czech driver slows towards the end of the stage and concedes the scratch time to his Dutch rival. But in the epic fight for the overall rally win, it is advantage Viagra, but only just.